you are watching an OraCloud Plus Training as a Service video snippet. Snippets are concise, targeted tutorials explaining how to use, configure, integrate, deploy, and support Oracle's Fusion Cloud applications. Snippets are delivered via FAST, the Fusion Application Support Tool. FAST is accessible via the web at www.oracloud.plus. No more watching hours of learning past style videos to get to the five minute snippet you need. Learn Oracle's Fusion Cloud applications in minutes, not hours. Hello and welcome to the request type video presentation. This video is intended for beginners looking to learn more about Oracle Fusion's procurement cloud applications. It walks through the two main types of requests, that being catalog and non-catalog, and explains how they are related to purchasing and sourcing services, among others. This video snippet, as with all video snippets, can be found within Oracle Cloud Plus's FAST, meaning Fusion Application Support Tool. It can be found within the Procurement Cloud Training Group and the Intro to Procurement Cloud Training Center under the Use menu option. To request access to FAST, Email your name and contact information to access at oracloud.plus. Please remember to put fast access request in the email title. Okay, so key topics are as follows. Procurement transactions, a bit of a recap using the procurement framework. Request types, catalog request transactions, and non-catalog request transactions. Okay, so slide one, procurement transactions. So again, we're using the OCP procurement framework tool, but it really lists all the possible transactions within FPC or Fusion Procurement Cloud. So request enable supply, which is the suppliers themselves, as well as the contracts, the pre-purchase contracts, sourcing, contracting, agreeing, cataloging, ordering and receiving. And then obviously there's some level of reporting or analytics underneath all of that. So before we move to the next slide, you wanna note that catalog and non-catalog requests use different mixtures of the transactions above. In fact, for the non-catalog requests, the different business rules will even further delineate different mixtures of transactions, say from deployment to deployment. Number two, request types. So there's two basic types of requests in Fusion Procurement Cloud and really all of e-procurement applications. There's catalog versus non-catalog. The catalog requests, by virtue of being a catalog, are previously negotiated content, items, etc., that have been cataloged so the requester can get to them by themselves, meaning self-service, versus a non-catalog request where they've searched for these or through these catalogs, can't find the item, the good, or the service they want, and now need to order it outside of that catalog structure, and this is going to engage procurement. That's why it's called full service. So here we look at the catalog request transactions. It's the rectangle there on the left. And under catalog requests, there's a subset of the procurement framework transactions or transaction train stops, which you see running along the bottom, that are invoked. So within the rectangle under catalog requests, you can see that it's kind of create, review, and submit your catalog request. And inherently this catalog request is processed. It's not really a step. And we'll explain that in the catalog request walkthrough. And it doesn't always get invoked in a catalog request because you hope that the PO gets auto generated. But that generation of the PO is the next step. And then finally receive the purchase order. Under the catalog request, the reason it goes one, seven, and eight is because the first, the seventh, and the eighth procurement framework steps are being exercised or invoked here. Versus a non-catalog request, which you can see now on the right rectangle, where it also begins with create, review, and submit the non-request or non-catalog request. But the requisition then gets processed and really some or all of these sourcing services are then invoked, again, based on business rules and some of the scenario. For example, if your request, you know who the supplier is, then you may not have to enable new suppliers and contract with them. Versus where if you have a new supplier, we have no idea who the supplier is. 
then part of processing that rec will ask you to enable supply. And the same goes for source contract degree and catalog. But you can see, again, those basic purchasing steps, the rec, the order, and the receipt are invoked regardless. But the sourcing services steps that are invoked just depend on the scenario. Do we have a supplier? Do we not? Do we need to catalog this and buy again? Do we not? Or the business rules. Anytime we spend over X, we need to competitively bid, hence source. Anytime somebody comes on site, they need to have a contract, hence we need to have a contract. So that's a little bit of the catalog or rather the non-catalog request transactions and which ones are optional and kind of how or why they're invoked. Okay, so are you ready for the next video? Well, quite simply, do you understand the two main types of requests? Which transactions are used with each type of request? And which request type invokes sourcing services? If the answer is no, then either watch again or feel free to reach out to me directly. You can see here on the left, that's my email address, and I'm always available to answer questions. If the answer is yes, great, then maybe you want to watch more video. So you can go to our playlist out on YouTube by going to YouTube and searching on AuraCloud Plus Inc. Or you can go from our website to the tool we call FAST, the Fusion Application Support Tool, and you can access the full catalog of our Learn, Use, Configure, Integrate, Deploy, and Support videos online. So that's it for this tutorial. We hope you found it informative and keep watching.